We have a breaking piece of news on Tesla Semi, friends. Tesla is apparently building a new Tesla Semi production line at a new building, new building near its Gigafactory in Nevada plant, and it plans to produce five electric trucks per week. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and EV news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. And please subscribe to our channel because we're going to follow up on this development. And if you would like this report, please give us thumbs up and like it to put it in front of more people. According to Electric, Tesla is building a new Tesla semi-production line at a new building near its Gigafactory in Nevada plant. And it plans to produce five electric trucks per week, Electric says, according to sources familiar with the matter. Again, according to Electric's sources. And it makes sense that Tesla is doing it in a new building because Tesla Semi is a huge car, a huge truck, and it will require maybe more uh, space and resources. Now, over the last few weeks, we have been trying to gauge the situation regarding Tesla Semi production after some vague comments by Elon Musk, which I will mention later bit later about the program being constrained by battery cell and so on. Now, Electrex says we are getting some clarity through reliable sources. Uh, Electrex says last year, Electric reported that Tesla took over a large, more than 500,000 square feet building in the industrial park where Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada is located. At the time, we couldn't be sure about the automaker's plan for building, but we had indicated that it had to do with Tesla semi production. Electrex says now we can confirm that the building, which sits at 550 million drive, uh, and next to another building used as a warehouse by Tesla is housing a new production line for Tesla Semi currently being deployed by the automaker. Remember friends that I said that Tesla is building a warehouse at Giga Berlin and then they will make it turn it into a battery production plant. Looks like the same is happening at uh, this building at Giga Factory 1 at 550 Milan Drive. Reliable sources, Electric says, familiar with the matter, told Electric that Tesla is currently building a low volume Tesla semi production line in that building. Once completed, they expect to production capacity of five Tesla semi electric trucks per week. The plan is still for volume production to happen at Gigafactory Austin once Tesla can also ramp up battery cell production there. Now, Electric says it thinks that this could result in more Tesla semi production than most people expected, especially after Elon's recent comments, which I will cover in a moment. This morning we held a poll, Electric says, and the majority of respondents thought that Tesla would produce fewer than 50 Tesla semi trucks in 2021. While this prediction could still turn out to be accurate, if Tesla can reach that goal by the fourth quarter, we are talking about 60 Tesla semi electric trucks this year. This would be a good start for the uh, semi program, which saw many delays over the year. Uh, of of course, the goal is for much higher production once the program moves to Gigafactory Austin and Tesla can reach high volume production of 4680 battery cells, which Tesla unveiled at its uh, battery day back in September. Elon Musk even mentioned that Tesla could eventually produce 100,000 electric semi trucks per year. Um, Electrex says in, his, uh, in, in its opinion, they are at least three, four years away from that, but uh, Electrex thinks it's a real possibility due to the the Tesla Semi's potential for significantly reducing the cost of transport by freight. freight. And uh, I personally think that it all depends on the battery production progress. Tesla already has thousands of reservations for the Tesla Semi. If, and if they can prove the economics uh, in real world use, it is safe to assume that it would have a massive impact on the trucking industry. As I reported earlier today, Elon Musk this morning posted a brief update about the Tesla Semi's rollout with the CEO sharing some insights about the upcoming vehicles, challenges and demand. Musk seemed pretty cautious in this update though he remained optimistic about the Tesla Semi's upcoming ramp, which would likely take place next year. We're talking about the ramp next year, but that doesn't mean Tesla will not make any Semi production this year, at least pilot or in that assembly 
that is uh, Tesla is building at a separate new building outside of Gigafactory One. Now, while sharing some thoughts about the recent order of uh, 10 Tesla semis from California based logistics operator MHX, which I covered widely this morning and yesterday, Musk highlighted that the demand is not an issue with Tesla semis at all for the Class 8 all electric truck. He said the CEO made it a point that to emphasize a point to emphasize that it is currently challenging to scale the semi production due to Tesla's near term battery cell supply, though he did not. Uh, he actually did note that such limitations will likely be less burdensome next year. Here's what he wrote. Demand is no problem, but near term cell supply makes it hard to scale the semi. This limitation will be less onerous next year, Musk wrote. Friends, uh, onerous means involving an amount of effort and difficulty that is oppressively burdensome. So it will be less burdensome, less oppressively burdensome next year. So earlier this year, reports from an electric vehicle uh, community have suggested that Tesla will be starting the semi's pilot production sometime this year, citing individuals reportedly familiar with Tesla's plans. The the report noted that the electric car maker could start building semi-release candidates around May 2021, with actual pilot production starting sometimes in the second quarter. This kind of makes sense with the, uh, this report, what we have said that Tesla is building the assembly line. Maybe if they finish building the assembly line in April or sometimes mid-May, one, uh, one, and, one and a half month is enough, I guess, for uh, building an assembly line or maybe a little bit more. And Tesla may still build the pilot prototype um, uh, of Tesla Semi in May 2021 and start the production in the third or fourth quarter. While Elon Musk's uh, recent update may seem like the Tesla Semi's production has been moving back once more. It is pertinent to note that the CEO's recent post specifically discusses the difficulties of scaling the upcoming vehicles manufacturing, not mass production, uh, not the prototype or uh, pilot production. With this in mind, the idea of Tesla producing its first few semis in 2020 still seems quite feasible. If any, it does suggest that Musk is quite optimistic about the semis full production ramp in 2022. Now, signs that Tesla is focusing once more on the semi's development emerged earlier this year when several updated prototypes of the Class 8 trucks were spotted across the United States. The vehicles featured a number of design changes from the first two semi prototypes that have been testing in the United States roads since their unveiling event back in late 2017. These changes include revamped windows, a completely different door handle mechanism, a new tailgate to name a few. The updated vehicle has been showcased by Tesla in its social media accounts recently as well, with the company showing off the semi's acceleration around the Fremont factory's test truck. As previously reported, the pilot plant's primary mission this year is to support the production of the Model Y at Gigafactory Berlin, which is expected to start in the coming months. Every Tesla semi would require at least six times as, I'm sorry, I said Gigafactory Berlin, I said uh, in, in Austin. Uh, every Tesla semi would require at least six times as many battery cells as Model Y electric SUV. How many commissioned Tesla semi-electric trucks do you think Tesla will produce in 2021? Musk's statement was a reply to another tweet announced that Tesla had received an order for uh, 10, 15, uh, 10 semi trucks from MHX leasing. Battery supply constraints have plagued practically all car makers, not only Tesla, in the booming EV market, friends. So the chip shortage also has halted production several times over the last few months. So before I move on, let me know what do you think, friends, how many Tesla semis Tesla will build uh, with prototype and pilot production this year and hopefully scale the production next year. Now, the big news today is that Tesla's partnership with Toyota appears to be active again. I reported it yesterday, citing South Korean media sources. The two reportedly are developing a small electric SUV. Toyota would provide the vehicles platform while Tesla would supply the electric control platform and software. Any such 
Tesla, Toyota, small SUV would compete with Hyundai's Kana Electric, Kia's Niro EV, uh, Kia Niro EV, and MG's uh, ZS electric vehicle. It would not directly compete with Tesla's planned affordable $25,000 electric vehicle, which is expected to be a sedan. In fact, Toyota may help Tesla um, with the platform of the $25,000 EV because Toyota is experienced in building small cars. This would not be the first time that two car makers joined to make a vehicle. Tesla helped the Japanese car maker Toyota build one of its compliance cars for California, the RAV4 EV, which was not widely sold. But now the exciting news is that um, uh, Tesla is building a new Tesla semi-production line at the new building near its Gigafactory in Nevada plant, Electric reports, and it plans to produce five electric trucks per week. What do you think about this, friends? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla breaking news and electric vehicle news, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage, and please give us thumbs up and like this video. Hit that like button, please, in order to put this video in front of more people, and if you you would share in social media i would greatly appreciate it have a great day god bless you everyone let's continue the conversation in the comment section below see you soon and peace be with all of you